Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to transfer WhatsApp messages from Android to Android using two simple methods. With these two methods, you can transfer all your WhatsApp data, including their attachments such as photos, videos, voice messages, and more from one Android phone to another with and without using a computer. And that is coming up. Uh. Okay, so here are the methods that I'm going to cover in this video. Our first method would be using a third-party software to transfer WhatsApp data from one Android phone to another. And our second method would be using Google Drive Backup. So let's start the video with our first method. Our first method is using a WhatsApp transfer software. For this method to work, you need a Windows or a Mac computer. And after that, you need a software called iCareFone WhatsApp Transfer. You can get it from the link given in the video description below. So just click on free download and install the software into your Windows or Mac computer. After installing, open it up. Once open, this is the interface of the software. With this software, you can also transfer your WhatsApp business messages and GB WhatsApp messages. If you are transferring regular WhatsApp data, then select the first option. Next, connect both your phones to computer using a USB cable. Once your phones are connected, the software will detect them automatically. As you can see on the left hand side, you have the source phone. This is the phone that will transfer the data and destination phone will receive the data. So in my case, I am going to transfer my WhatsApp data from my Huawei phone to my Samsung phone. So I'm just going to click on the switch button, which will change the order. Make sure the source phone is sending the data. Okay. Once everything is set up, just click on transfer. Click continue. Now you need to back up your WhatsApp messages from the phone that you want to transfer your WhatsApp messages. In order to back up WhatsApp messages from your old phone, open WhatsApp, then tap on these three dots, select settings, select chats, scroll down, select chat backup, then tap on frequency and make sure it's set to never. After that, just tap on backup. By doing this, you are backing up your WhatsApp messages to your phone storage. After backing up your WhatsApp messages on your computer, click continue and then wait for this process to complete. Now the software is getting WhatsApp data from my phone. While this process is taking place, would you please like this video and share it with your friends? For you, like and share is just a matter of clicks, but for me, it means a lot. So thank you so, so much if you do. Okay, after that process, now select the files that you want to transfer along with your WhatsApp messages. So in my case, I'm going to select all. You can select whichever option you want. After that, click on continue. And now wait for this transferring process to complete. This process will take time depending on how much WhatsApp data you have on your old phone. Once the transferring process is completed, you will see this message. Now you can close the software because your job is done. You no longer need the software. Okay, now on your new phone, Make sure you download a fresh copy of WhatsApp from Play Store. After installing WhatsApp, open it and log in with your phone number. After verifying your phone number from your old phone, WhatsApp will be logged out by itself, as you can see. Okay, now on your new phone, tap on continue and give all the required permissions. After that, you will get to this page. Now, all you have to do is click on restore and then wait for your WhatsApp messages to be transferred from your old phone. Okay, after that, click next, type your name. After going through those process, your WhatsApp messages will be transferred. As you can see, these are the exact WhatsApp messages that I had on my old phone. All right, now let me show you the second method. Our second method is using Google Drive to transfer WhatsApp from Android to Android. First of all, Make sure you have a fresh copy of your WhatsApp messages uploaded to Google Drive. To do that, open WhatsApp on your old phone. Then tap on these three dots. Select Settings. From the Settings, tap on Chats. Scroll down. Tap on Chat Backup. Select your Google account from here. And then just tap on Backup. After backing up your WhatsApp messages from your old phone, now on your new phone, open WhatsApp. 
and sign in with your phone number. After signing into WhatsApp on your new phone, now on your other phone, WhatsApp will be logged out automatically by itself. So as you can see, mine is automatically logged out. Okay, now you don't need your old phone. And on your new phone, tap on continue and go through this permission process. After that, you will get to this page where you have to choose your Google account. If your Google account is already added on your new phone, then select it. In my case, mine is not added. So I'm going to add it right now. After logging into your Google account, just tap on restore. Then wait for this process to complete. So as you can see, I have 2.6 gigabytes of media uploaded to my Google Drive account. At first, your messages will be restored and after that your media such as photos, videos and other things will be restored in the background. So wait for this process to complete. My connection is very slow. As you can see, it's taking a lot of time to download even 9 MB of file. Once your messages are restored successfully, tap on next, type your name, then hit next. Then you will have all WhatsApp messages transferred from your old phone to your new phone. And when you open a chat, some of your messages will be like this. As you can see, this is because your messages are not completely downloaded. So there you have it guys. That is my video on how to transfer WhatsApp from Android to Android. Please let me know which one of these two options were helpful to you. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to hear them. And also, if you learned something new from this video, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You are one like and share means a world to me. So thank you so much if you do. And if you want more videos like this in the future, then please subscribe to my channel. And I will catch you in the next one. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Bye.